Hey everyone, in this video you'll learn how to add a rope swinging system to your game by using the FS rope swinging system asset. So we'll go through all the features of the assets and the things that you can customize and all that. So let's get started. So here I have a project in which I've installed the rope swinging system and I have a sample scene which I'll be using to demonstrate the working of the rope swinging system. So in this scene we have game objects like these which the player can hook onto and swing. So first we need to create a player that can use the rope swinging system. So we have a character creation window with which you can create a player in a single click. Okay. So to open the character creation window, go to tools, rope swing system and click on create character. All right. And in this window, you just have to drag and drop an FBX model of a character and click on create character. Okay. So let's find a model that we can use. I'll just use the default character that comes with Unity and I'll click on create character. Okay. That will create the character for us. And if you run the game, you can see that a rope is attached to the hand of that character, right? We can move the character around like in a normal third person game, but the player also has a rope attached in his hand. But here the rope is not attached perfectly. We'll be fixing those soon. But first, let's try to make a player swing from these objects. So if you want to make the player swing from an object, you just have to attach a script to that object. Okay, so let's say I want a player to swing from this object. So I can select the object and attach a script called swing ledge. All right. So as soon as I attach the script, you can see that we have a green gizmo over here. So this will be the point onto which the rope will be attached. So we can try adjusting this. And by the way, if you zoom in close, you can see that there are two transform gizmos. One is for the object itself and the other one is for the gizmo. So we want to move the gizmo and not the object. So try moving both and make sure that you're moving the gizmo instead of the actual game object. Okay. So now the player should be able to hook onto this game object and swing. So let's test that. Let me just bring my player over here and I'll just rotate him by 180 degree so that we can easily test this. By the way, there is one thing you have to note. If your singable object is not in the default layer and if it's in a different layer, then make sure to add that layer onto the swing ledge layer field of the environment scanner. Okay. So by default, it will only have the default layer. And if your object is in a different layer, then you have to add it here. So just keep that in mind. Okay. And now if I test the game, you can see that when I point the camera at this game object, I can see an icon here indicating that it is a swingable object. Okay. And now if I press the F key on the keyboard, the player throws and hooks a rope onto that object. Okay. And now if we move, the rope will also move accordingly. And now if we jump off a ledge, you can see that we are able to swing. Okay. We can swing in any direction you want. So if I want to swing towards the left, I can swing like this. All right. And if I want to just jump, then I can press the space key and the player will jump down. Okay. So we made the basic swinging work, but there are a lot of things that we need to improve. So the first thing that I notice here is that the rope is attached to the player's wrist, right? Not to the player's hand. And from the body, it is attached to the player's hip. That also looks weird. So we can easily adjust these from the settings that we have in the swing controller script. So in this script, if you select the rope settings, here we have properties like right hold transform, left hold transform, 
and all that. So the right hold transform is the point at which the player will hold the rope. Okay, so by default, we're just using the right hand bone. All right, but the problem is the position of the right hand bone is at the wrist. So we can easily change that by creating another game object under the right hand and assigning that as the hold transform. So let's go ahead and do that. So on the player's right hand, I'll go ahead and add another empty game object. Okay, I'll call this rope hold point. And I'll just give this point a 3D icon so that I can easily view it in the scene view. All right. And let me just place it a bit below somewhere over here. So this is the point at which the rope will be held by the player. Okay. So we have to assign this point to our right hold transform. Okay. And now if we test it, you can see that the point is not quite right. So we'll have to adjust it from here. So I can just select the point and move it to where I want. All right, that should be fine. Let me look at it from the game view. So yeah, that point is fine for holding the rope. So before we stop the game, we have to make sure to copy the position of this point because the changes that we make while running the game will be reverted when we stop the game, right? So I'll just copy the position and paste it again over here. And now when we run the game, the point should be proper. Okay. So we also have to add such a whole point on the left hand because we'll be holding the rope with the left hand while the player is swinging. So we also have to add it to the left hand. So let's find the left hand from here. Okay. And we can just copy this point and paste it over here. But the position of this point is incorrect. But we can easily fix it by changing all these values to its opposite. So I'll change 0 0.003 to minus 0 0.003. And I'll make this plus instead of minus. And I'll also make this plus. Okay. So now it should be at the same point of the right hand. The reason I had to do that was because this model is designed in such a way that the rotations of the left and right hand are opposite. Okay. So let's assign the left hold point to our swing controller script. All right, and now we can try running the game. And when we swing, the player should hold the rope properly with the left and right hand. If it's not perfect, you can try and adjust it again. The positions are going to be different for different models. You'll have to adjust it while playing the game and make sure that it looks right. Okay, so next I want to fix the attach point of the rope so right now the attach point is the hips okay hips is the default attach point but that looks pretty weird we could place the attach point somewhere around the thighs of the player and by the way if you want you could also make the attach point same as the rope hold point so from here we can just attach the right hold point to the attach transform and and now the rope will start from the player's hand okay it won't be attached to any other part of the player's body but we can also change this so that the rope starts from another point in the player's body okay so this would be perfect if you have something like a bag or a pouch from which the rope starts so let's add a point for that under the hips of the player. 
so here I'll create an empty game object and I'll call this rope attach point and let me just place it somewhere around the dice of the player and we can also give it an icon okay so let's try testing it and we can do further adjustments while running the game okay we forgot to attach it to the swing controller script so let's go ahead and do that okay and now when you test the game the rope should start from that point so yeah you can see that the rope is starting from that point you can add some kind of objects like a pouch over there to hide the starting of the rope all right so that looks much better than starting the rope from the hips right so next let's add a hook object at the start of the rope so that it looks a bit more realistic when we hook on to an object like this okay so you can add any 3d model that you have for the hook object the asset comes with an example 3d model for the hook object so i'll be using that so it's under the prefab object and i'll attach this onto a right hand so let me expand and find the right hand okay and we can actually just attach it to our rope hold point because we know that it is placed at the right offset okay so you might have to adjust the position of the hook based on your character's hand in some cases you might have to rotate it so yeah we should play with it and set the hook so that it is in the hand of the player and once we attach it we also have to assign it to the settings in the swing control script so i'll go ahead and attach it here and let's try testing this so now when we test we do have a hook in the player's hand but it's not placed perfectly it should be a bit above so we can actually change this from the game mode itself so let me choose this and pull it slightly above okay that looks better i'm not going to spend too much time on placing this because i don't want this tutorial to be long but you can make sure to spend a lot of time to get this right so let me just copy its position from here so that i can paste it after i stop playing the game so now it should be positioned correctly when we run the game all right the player is holding the hook in his hand and let's also try how it looks while hooking all right so you can see that the player throws the hook and our hook gets hooked onto the object on which you want to swing okay so yeah we can also try swinging so yeah the swing is working fine so let's also try setting up the swinging ledge on these two objects so first i'll select this object and i'll add the swing ledge script and let me make sure to change the position of the gizmo to the center and next let me also add it for this object okay and now let's try swinging on these objects okay i'll go here and i'll try swinging on these so yeah you can see that it is working fine I didn't aim it quite right but it is working all right so next let's look at the settings that you can customize in the system so all the settings are in the swing controller script attached to the player game object we have already looked at few important settings that are needed for 
setting up the rope and hook object. Let's also look at other important settings. So here at some point, if you want to disable swinging, then you can just disable this checkbox. Okay. And next we have min distance. So this is the minimum distance that the player should be from the hook glitch to be able to perform the swing. Okay. Next we have the hook input. So here you can set the input key for the hook. And if you want to use the joystick button with the old input system, you can create an input and set it over here. And by the way, you can also set up the new input system by enabling it from the welcome window. And then you can customize it by going to the games in production folder and customizing this. Okay. So up next we have the rope throwing clip. So this is the animation clip for throwing the rope. So if you want to use a custom animation clip, then you can go ahead and change it in the rope throwing clip. Okay. And next we also have a rope holding clip. We only take the hand of this clip. So this clip only determines how the fingers of the hand is wrapped. Okay. And next we have the animation speed. So if you want the rope throw to be fast, you can increase this animation speed property. So next let's look at the settings for swinging. So first we have the swing force. So this determines the force at which the player can move while swinging. Okay. The player can move in different directions while swinging and this will determine its force. So if it's high, then the player will go really fast. And if it's slow, the movement will be much slower. The rotation speed is the speed in which the player can rotate while swinging. All right. And next we have some properties like forward and upward landing force multiplier. So this determines the force that should be applied when the player jumps from a swing. And then we have damping. So this is just the damping of the swing. That is the rate at which we should decrease the speed of swinging. Okay. And then we have gravity and collision friction. Collision friction is the friction that will be applied when a collision happens during swinging. So next let's move on to the rope settings. So we already looked at things like right hand left hold transforms, attach transform and hook object. After that, we also have settings to determine the appearance of the rope. Okay. Most of these things are self-explanatory. If you want to change the color or texture of the rope, you can change it by adding a new material, right? This is the material that we have by default. Okay. And then rope length is an important property because it determines how far you can hook. Okay. And then we have things like dampening for the rope, which is different from dampening for the swing. Dampening for the rope controls the small movements that the rope has when the player moves. Okay. So if you want a stiff rope, you can increase the dampening. And then we have the throw height. The throw height is the height above which the rope will go while it is being thrown. Okay. So you can try playing with these settings. You can see a short description for each property when you hover your mouse on them. All right. So next, under the camera settings, you can control the amount of camera shake while swinging. And then if you want to change the crosshair, you can go ahead and add a different game object here. All right. And finally, we also have some events with which you can expand the functionality of the rope swing system. So for example, if you want to play some sound effects or visual effects when the rope is hooked or when the swing starts, then you can go ahead and do it using these events. All right. So yeah, these are all the settings that you can customize in the system. And by the way, you could combine the system with FS parkour and climbing system or FS melee combat systems to create interesting levels that combine swinging, parkour, climbing, combat, and all that. So that's all I want to cover in this tutorial. Thanks a lot for watching, and I hope you find this asset helpful.